Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and uh, today I'm going to review a gentleman's uh, YouTube channel here, uh, Shoe Nice, that uh, he gets a lot of views by eating things that are uh, fairly hazardous normally to the body. He he kind of doesn't care, and he eats, uh, he's got a lot of videos where he drinks Elmer's glue, and uh, there's other ones here. He, he eats paint, painter's caulk, um, just a lot of, a lot of different things. And uh, somebody, actually, one of my uh, YouTube subscribers, I believe, turned me on to this gentleman's videos. And so let's, let's just, I don't know, let's take a look at this. Hey everyone, shoe nice again. 40 ounce in 37 seconds, and I didn't even catch a buzz. Good Up job. yours, big bear. Yeah. Either way, I was going to wait till I got in the second place on King of the Web to slam a bottle of Elmer's glue. Mm. But I was hungry, so I figured I'd do it now and kill two stones with one bird. Uh, yeah, don't try this at home. Okay. A lot of people say my first glue stunts were fake and it was frosting or something. I don't know. They got a new bottle now, but the world record rules are eight ounces, eight ounces. Now, wait a minute. So that's the actual world record. That's funny. It's not funny. It's tragic. But they, I noticed when I did a little research, they will create world records based on how like eating a lot of stuff so people that are in like say a hot dog eating contest somebody might be in the world record for eating 50 or 60 hot dogs within two or three minutes that that type of thing this the overeating but they they've almost banned world records based on fasting based on going long periods of time without food uh, you can find a few various things if you look if you look up uh, world record fasting and that kind of thing there'll be a few guys here and there that will have claimed to do these you know really long fasts. and of course Arnold Eret was kind of the undisputed fasting world record holder uh, up until recent more recent years where there's been a couple guys that have uh, done long fast I think um, I think in front of uh, uh, government officials or some kind of uh, thing like that but I just noticed that that's something that is totally banned from like a Guinness world record kind of thing they're not not into fasting, not into uh, measuring lengths of fast. But, hey, if you can eat 100 hot dogs in under a minute, you can have your name in the Guinness Book of World Records. And if you're this gentleman here, uh, I don't know if they put these in there, this drinking glue kind of stuff, but I would not be surprised. Of Elmer's glue to a pace where it drips out of the bottle and under... There is no time because there is no record, and we're making a new one right now. It's oh, look real. It is, it, you know. it is real. I'm convinced that's not fake. I've watched several of his videos, and he, 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 he consumes this stuff. For a new world record that has never been set yet. So it's not even a new record. I guess it's new because it's new, but it's not a new one. On your mark... Get set. Shoe nice. Get it, get it all. Come on, get it. There you go. All right. You want to mess with me? You can't mess with Tony Montana. 
That was my impersonation of Rocky Balboa doing the Tony Montana impersonation. Brilliance. So, so th this is a review video. So technically, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to steal this gentleman's video or anything. You can uh, you can go to his channel for more, much more of this, much more. Um, so basically, I mean, I kind of tongue in cheek things a little bit and. Those of you that know me and where my humor is at, you, you pretty much will understand where I'm coming from throughout this whole piece. But basically, in my world, it's like just this kind of insanity. This pus and mucus eating leads to so much chaos and things that are just really outlandish and and you can always do do the mucus and pus test if this gentleman was to start doing some enemas start eating really big salads eating a lot of fruit and and cleaning up his gut it, where this <laughs> this gentleman his gut you know it, this it, it, <laughs> he's got a lot of work to do if he ever wanted to uh detoxify himself and clean himself up uh, a little bit but if you were to put him on the transition diet you would you would get him to a point first where it'd be impossible for him to consume glue uh, that type of glue it would also be impossible to consume rice glue and all this kind of other stuff because that's the other way to look at it is what this gentleman is doing is really not that weird within the context of people who eat rice, people who drink milk. So that's the other way to look at it is the way that this guy looks to me is how people that drink milk and eat rice also look. Like there's really not that large a gap between the two. Whereas people that do eat those things, and, and I used to eat those things, so I always put myself in there and I'm not judging people like i'm not a part of that i was a part of that but the, the the consciousness that can change and the shift in understanding to you know when i look at myself as having when i ate like that i'm like wow i really ate a lot of glue <laughs> and it's uh in my head there's really not that big a difference like okay this gentleman he's drinking his glue but you can make some rice glue and drink that. And people eat that and think that that's different from this. You know, that's, oh, well, that's something else. And, of course, there's this is going to have some different chemicals and some things that have been considered not edible. But what we're saying is the rice is not edible. Uh, the, the milk is not edible. Just because you can eat it and not die immediately doesn't mean you're supposed to eat it. You can drink Clorox bleach and you might not die immediately. Uh, I'm sure we could probably find him drinking Clorox on here somewhere. Uh, but just because you can consume it and not die doesn't mean it was meant for the human body. Does not mean that we were supposed to consume it. So anyway, just having a little fun. No disrespect to Shoe Nice. I'm sure he's a he's a very nice gentleman that uh <laughs> I'm gonna make some stupid joke with some pun or something. I I try to stay away from puns. They, they're they're ridiculous to me. But um, anyway, thanks for tuning in to yet another uh, kind of lighthearted observation conversation here. And subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you later. Peace, love, and breath. Warning, your body is under attack. Many of the foods that you thought to be safe and healthy are robbing you of your well-being and vitality. But there is something that you can do about it right now. Discover the simplest and most powerful natural lifestyle secret that has improved the lives of thousands. Introducing 
Professor Arnold Errett's Mucosless Diet Healing System, annotated, revised, and edited by Professor Spira. It contains one of the most profound revelations of the 21st century, that mucus-forming foods are unnatural for us to eat and are the fundamental cause of many human illnesses. The Mucosless Diet Healing System, annotated, revised, and edited by Professor Spira, is a complete course for every person who desires to learn how to control their health. You will learn how to naturally get rid of that annoying stuffy nose or terrible cough, melt away unwanted body fat, prevent debilitating health issues, and heal yourself of numerous painful ailments. Read the book that has inspired thousands to take their health into their own hands. This book will only be available for a limited time. Visit www.mucusfreelife.com forward slash revised dash mucusless dash diet to get your copy right now while supplies last.